happened to you, especially like this weekend where you uh, probably have some leftovers from a cookout? Well, Justin Chappell is the host of Food and Wine's Mad Genius Tips. He has, I think, some of the most spectacular and creative hacks for hamburgers and hot dogs that are sitting in the fridge. Good exactly. to see you. Exactly. It's great to be back. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I, I have a bunch of hamburgers from this weekend. Right. What do I do? Exactly. And they're cooked. Yes, they're already because cooked. Because we've made enough for everyone, and maybe you planned everyone would have two, and they just had one. Exactly. And so I had this brilliant idea, mm -hmm. and we're going to make bolognese. Right? Brilliant. So we have our cooked hamburger so pie. Just, just going to chop it up. up. Yep. You want to finally chop it. You know, a rough chop, finely chop, and then all you do is add it to your favorite sauce, mm -hmm. um, which we have here. You can go ahead and add some more if you'd like. And you can use store-bought. You can also um, use some homemade sauce that you might have had in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And you bring it up to a simmer. Go ahead and add your crumbled up, your finely chopped right. hamburger patties, just And what's just great like is that. You get also some, like, if you've got some vegetables left over that you grilled, you could put them in there as well. Exactly. It's, Eggplant, it's zucchini, um, and then you just, you know, Serve it over your spaghetti, your bucatini, your penne, whatever you like, and you have a cheater bolognese, right? Brilliant. <laughs> now, pizza. I love this idea. Right. And pizza's kind of a catch-all. It's like a frittata. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you might find yourself with some leftover chicken breasts. Right. Or this weekend, I hear that you made some pork. I had some pulled pork. Exactly. And what I'm doing is just making a barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. And I have some chopped up cooked chicken breast. And right. I'm just going to mix it with the barbecue sauce like sure. this. Yeah. And I have my uh, dough here that I've stretched out. And you can find uh, store-bought store -bought yep. anywhere. And if you, you go to your local pizzeria, they'll give exactly, you Exactly. Exactly. Or you can even buy those ones that are kind of pre-cooked. Right. Oh, yeah. Sure. And just top it on there. It makes it easy. And you just sprinkle your chicken on top. It's like going to California Pizza Kitchen, only you're, <laughs> you're recycling what you have. Exactly. That's and then you're going to go ahead and cook that. Mm -hmm. And I like to top it with a little arugula. Watermelon? A yes. little extra? A little watermelon. You know, you have your watermelon wedge. Right. Um, take off the rind. Yeah. Put it in a blender. Add some olive oil. You want to add that vinegar there. Okay. You're going to go ahead and puree that. Mm -hmm. And you have this beautiful little soup here. That's great. Top with so a little chill, feta, fantastic. a little dill. Same, one of the best for last. I've got right now about two packages of hot dog buns. We all have two packages yeah. of ham, hamburger or hot dog buns. Right. And it's so French easy. French toast. French toast. You just mix your eggs with some milk, a little sugar, vanilla. You know, add it in here. Turn it. Add it to your hot skillet. You know, we all know how to make French toast. Brilliant. Right? You are here. on fire, my friend. <laughs> Justin, thank you so much. Love it. All right.